Welcome to Code with Kurt, the channel brings you the latest Google Sheets and Google Apps Script videos. In today's video, we are going to take a Google Sheet here and turn this into JSON. And JSON is something that can be used to call as like an API. So I could call a URL address and return this table back into a JSON format. And I can show you here with Postman. Here I have my URL right here that I deployed as a web app and now I can send it and now I get the the Google Sheet data down here showing up with my header here and then the rows below it so this can be used to uh, call from a different server say you have an Apache server that you're wanting to pull data from a Google Sheet you can uh, deploy a web app here with just the JSON displaying this Google Sheet data and then you can use that to call back the data here. So I'll show you a step-by-step -step process of how I put this together. If you're new to this channel, subscribe to catch my latest videos. Let's get started with this video. Here I am on my Google spreadsheet. I have it named JSON Display Google Sheet. Here's my data. I got a header row here and there is no formulas. This is just straight string and number here and then my sheet name is data below here so this is the table I want to turn into JSON so next time I go to my script editor I'm gonna go ahead and give it a name JSON display Google sheet I'm hit OK next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy in my Google Apps script code there I have it copied in I'm gonna hit save all right, the next I'm gonna go through it here. So what I'm doing is a do get, and this is gonna start my web app here. This is a standard Google Apps Script function. My next call is to get the sheet data. So it's this function down here. Here I am declaring the active spreadsheet here. I am declaring my data sheet here. I'm getting the range. So the range is anything that's populated in the sheet so it would be from a1 down to e8 and then I'm getting those values and then this data values is an array so I'm returning back an array so this content is an array the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add this array to a object so I am calling that content object I'm just adding one tag to the object is Google sheet data and I'm applying that array to it right here my next statement is I'm returning back to my web app and I'm doing a create text output from my content server object here and this is my object here content object and what I got this wrapped into is a JSON stringify and that converts it into a JSON code and then from that I'm setting a mem type of JSON over here still using this content service object so I'm basically saying okay I'm turning this data into JSON and I'm telling the server that this is going to be JSON data so that is it with the code basically just these two objects I got set next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run this Google sheet data here and that's going to get into my permissions. So let's go ahead and select that Google Sheet data. And I'm going to hit there. So now I'm getting my authorization required. So I'm going to go review permissions. I'm going to click my account. Click advanced. I'm going to click go to Google Display Google Sheets. I'm going to click allow. That's kind of an important step to do here because I think if you don't do this and you try to deploy your web app, you're going to get an error saying you don't have the permissions set for your project here. So that's why I ran this function first to get through my permissions. Now I can deploy my web app. So I'm going to hit deploy web app. I'm going to click in new here. I'm going to go execute as myself and then my last statement except only myself because I want to uh, I want to do this from the outside so I'm going to do this I'm going to allow everybody to access it basically 
And it's important to know about this this project here, this video, is there is no security on this sheet. So since I'm opening up wide open that anybody can access this data. So I'm gonna hit deploy. Now I got my address here. So I'm gonna take this address, I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna put it in a tool called Postman. So now that I got it copied, I'm gonna go ahead and copy it into Postman. So if you're not familiar with Postman, this is a way you can call your web pages your APIs and different stuff to test with. Here I'm doing a git and I'm going to copy this my new URL in here. So I got to copy it in there and now I can hit send. Now since my mem type I sent through it's already going to recognize that this is going to be JSON data so it already tagged it as JSON and now I got my output of my table here. So. So that concludes this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave it below the video. Until next time.